Hey guys, my name is Mike and welcome back to AXC Garage, a channel that's built for today's Acuras, Hondas and all the classics. On the last episode, you saw I tried to adjust these coilovers. However, we find out this coilover is not for this car. It is for a DA Acura Integra. But we're able to order the correct coilovers and also mounted this beautiful brand new 16 inch Mugen MF10. On today's episode, we're gonna jump right back into the engine bay and we want to go ahead and get the engine bay refreshed just like the rest of the car. We're not doing a complete restoration on this car here because the car overall is in very, very good condition. All we're doing is just doing some refresh. Without further ado, let's take you guys to the engine bay. Right here is the engine bay and the first thing you guys go to see it is this high revving B16B VTEC engine and that what makes this Honda Civic Type R that much more special and look around the engine bay and one thing we love about our project is that everything is there nothing really missing so the only thing we have to do is just going to refresh the engine and keep everything OEM plus so when you see things like this rusty bolt and the headlights Right over here, this aftermarket cooling temperature sensor from Grady. This ground cable that's all dirty, supposed to be clean copper color. And last but not least, what about this valve covers that's supposed to be beautiful, bright red. And now it's all peeling and definitely showing a lot of ages. So we definitely have solution for all of those things. And next thing, let's go take a look and see what we have for parts. Right here is the part band. We see a bunch of brand new parts and the biggest parts out of all of them is in this brown box. Guess what it is? That's right. It is a brand new type of valve covers. Along with this brand new valve covers, we have a bunch of OEM parts and also some aftermarket parts. We got a set of spoon spot plug wires and some reservoir socks. Remember that dirty ground cable that's all brown and nasty? We have a perfect solution by replacing with a factory OEM ground cable. Look how beautiful that looks. That really gonna set off the engine bay. Little things like this guys, that's what really gonna change the entire look on the engine bay a little bit at a time. Engine air filters, a little cap for a power steering reservoir. Remember the Grady cooling temperature sensors. We got a brand new hose because once we remove it, you're gonna have a big old gap and we got a perfect hose for that repair. We got a reservoir and also a bunch of little things that really got set off the engine bay. So first thing, let's get the valve cover off and get this started.
take a look at the brand new valve cover versus the original oh and beat up peeling original valve covers man nothing better than brand new oem parts and these valve covers is going to set off the engine bay for sure we are not ready to put back the brand new type of valve cover just in case we get anything on the brand new finish the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and replace the upper radiator hose but first thing we're going to do is to drain the cooling from the radiator We're just about to get the upper radiator hose out but before we do that we want to show you guys a quick trick a lot of you guys once the clamps is out of the way you guys would use a pliers or use your hands try to twist it the issues that you're going to have with this plastic radiator over time sometimes the plastic get de deteriorated and when you try to twist it the neck will actually break off so the pro tip we're going to give you guys is use a razor blade and just kind of cut it right along the side here once you cut it, you can just easily open it and break it loose. It come out just like that. So we're just about to put the brand new radio hose back together. Just really want to point this out to you guys. You see the white little dot right over here? That represent the center point in up position. Remember what I said before about small things will make a big difference in the engine bay? Take a look at this old clamps from the upper radiator hose. It's all rusty and dirty and take a look at the new one. Things like this will make a big difference. So a couple more parts here for us to finish up the cooling system. We have a brand new cooling tank with a matching cap, radiator cap, and also a gallon of the Honda cooling. This new cooling, the colors is blue. The original cooling color is green, but I personally like the blue colors better. And let's take a look at the old cooling tank and the new cooling tank. What a difference. So before we put a cooling tank back together, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the engine air filter. We already inspected previously, and it's super dirty but we want to show you guys what we found <laughs> look how dirty that is it doesn't seem like they changed this filter at all for the past 20 30 thousand miles so our solution is a brand new factory filter it goes right in just like that Next up, we have the Spoon Sports Spark Plug Wire, and we want to take the opportunity to go ahead and do a complete tune up by replacing with brand new spark plug distributor rotors and distributor caps. And let's go ahead and take out the spark plugs.
So we got everything back on the bench here. Old parts, new parts, and let's take a look at the spark plugs. Uh, it does appear the engine running pretty good uh, by the way the tip looks, but it does appear that the spark plug is really old and it definitely could use a set of new plugs. It's all worn out too as well, right there at the tip. And let's take a look at the new spark plug and compare it to the old one. What a big difference, huh? And um, what we have here is the entire distributor, but normally in order for you to replace the distributor rotors, you don't have to remove the entire distributor. We're only doing it here so that you can see uh, what you have to do in order for you to change it. So on the B-Series distributors, VTEC or non-VTEC, you will have a Phillips screw right over here. Uh, normally, uh, as the engine rotate, uh, you might not be able to see it. So in order for you to change it, one, you can remove the entire distributor or you can tap on the engine and as it rotate, once it rotate back to the window here, then you can go ahead and insert your screwdriver here and remove it. All right, so you have the original rotors here and then the new rotors. As you can see, uh, the contact point is right over here. This rotor rotate inside the distributor cap and along with these contact points right here. So over time, because the spark, it could get worn out right here at the tip and also right over here. So once we have everything off now, all we have to do is to replace it with a new one and the new one pretty much just slide right in here line up with the threads nice little tap everything should line up right there and all you have to do get your Phillips screwdriver tighten it up You're good to go so new distributor cap and the swap plug wire will be a pretty simple task for you guys all you have to do is just follow the old one swap it onto the new one and you should be good to go So we're here in the final stretch. The last thing we have to do is to prep our brand new valve covers. We flip this around. Last thing we gotta have to install is these brand new spark plug seal and valve cover gasket. What we put here are just a small bit of the Honda bond just to ensure there will be no oil leaks coming through these corners. We'll go ahead and put a part number in the description just in case you guys need it. And the last thing we have to do is install the valve covers.
count on this ground cable to set off the engine bay. Next one up, we want to go ahead and change this O exhaust manifold covers along with this rusty bolt to a almost like new used covers here and some new bolts. Man, this new part definitely transformed the entire engine bay. If you guys like what you see, want to support us, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and make sure to turn on the notification so you guys don't miss anything on this entire build series. And don't forget to visit our website, www.accurhonderclassic.com to pick up your favorite apparel and merchandise. On the next couple of episodes, we'll be refreshing the exterior and also the interior. And this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you guys on the next one.